Hey, what's up guys? My name is Arix and welcome to the world of Lost Ark. Arcasia awaits, a world full of mysteries, monsters, dungeons, demons and so much more. But in order to embark on your adventure, first you must make a character and choose a class. And therein lies the reason behind this video. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the five main classes in Lost Ark, the Assassin. As well as the associated advanced classes to help you make up your mind for when you dive in. I want to give a quick shout out to Amazon for very kindly sponsoring this video. Don't forget, if you want to find out more about Lost Ark, you can click the link in the description box down below. Now, Lost Ark has five main classes for you to choose from. The Warrior, Martial Artist, Gunner, Mage and Assassin. And each of those main classes is then broken into an array of advanced classes, or subclasses to use another commonly known term. In total, between the five classes, there are 15 advanced classes giving you plenty of ways to play the game based on your preferred playstyle. But in this video, we're going to be focusing solely on the Assassin. Assassins are mysterious melee makers who fight demonic with demonic, channeling the dark powers in the name of the light in quick, colourful attacks. They are close range fighters who harness their demonic power to crush anything that stands in their way, and what they lack in overall health, they more than make up for in mobility and burst damage potential. Their damage scales with dexterity, which is the main attribute for this class, so keep this in mind as you level up and obtain gear. If you typically take on the role of a DPS in MMOs, then the Assassin will be right up your street. Dive in, dish out high, burst damage and dash out before the enemy even knows what hit them. The Assassin then splits into, currently, one of two advanced classes, the Shadow Hunter and the Deathblade. The Shadow Hunters prefer to beat the demons at their own game, they can shapeshift into powerful demonic forms to unleash chaotic power. When their inner demon is unleashed, Shadow Hunters get access to incredibly destructive powers alongside increased health and movement speed, quite literally giving the enemies a taste of their own medicine. And honestly, this is probably my favourite of the two advanced classes purely because of these badass demonic powers. It makes you feel so incredibly powerful going full demon mode to lay waste to anything that stands in your way. With this class, melee attacks in human form will build your Shadow Burst meter, which is the meter used to transform into a demon. You can take advantage of your tripod system to either gain more Shadow Burst charge on attacks, allowing for more frequent demon mode usage, or you can consume that charge for more powerful attacks. So depending on what you want to lean more into, you have options. Despite the increased health from demon mode though, you are still not a tank, so as you'd expect from an assassin, you still want to remain mobile, dart in, dish out damage, ideally from the back, and get out before you die. One really cool move in this class is Demonic Clone. This sees you call forth an incarnation of the devil to attack by your side, performing wide sweeping attacks and a powerful final blow. Spinning Weapon allows you to send out both of your weapons, making them spin where they stand, inflicting consistent damage. First you send out the left one, then hitting the key a second time allows for the second blade to be sent out. And if you want to go full power, you also have Demon Vision, which will see you fire out a high energy beam of destruction. Overall though, the Shadow Hunter is a relatively easy class to play with excellent damage output and some very flashy moves. A lot of fun and a great place to dive in. Alternatively, you have the Deathblade. This advanced class uses a total of three swords that they wield alongside their Power of Chaos and they use these to swiftly slash their foes. The fast paced combo attacks from the Light Dual Swords and the Long Sword are great for overpowering enemies, leading to death by a thousand cuts. This is a combo heavy class that does require a degree of mechanical skill in order to execute high damaging combos, so it will take some practice to get this down, but when successful, they're fantastic at crowd controlling enemies with a variety of attacks and can then take full advantage of that window to dish out devastating damage. As a Deathblade, you'll be using a wide range of rapid hitting attacks to build up the Deathblade Arts, your class identity skill. When activated, you become a supercharged version of yourself that's faster, hits harder and can unleash a devastating final blow. The Deathblade has access to an array of powerful skills, but to call out just one, Moonlight Sonic is a very nice ability. Great damage output, a means to pull enemies towards you to set them up for follow-ups, and the ability to change the element through the tripod system, with Dark being a great pick for endgame. You also have Blitz Rush, allowing you to charge forward to advance and attack your enemy. Doing so sees you inflict damage with your Dual Sword, and when overcharged, you can even inflict further damage and knock back foes. Overall though, this class features excellent mobility, high damage output and excellent buffs to support your team in endgame activities. Additionally, it's also a fantastic PvP class, albeit with a slightly steeper learning curve. So if you fancy diving into the arena and going toe to toe with other players, then this might be a great pick for you. Additionally, all classes have the choice of two powerful awakening abilities. These are unlocked once you hit level 50 and they consume a resource known as Awakening Chaos Peace. You can only use one at a time, so you must pick your favourites, but the Deathblade has access to either Flash Blink or Blade Assault. 
Flash Blink will see you quickly dash through the foe with all swords, piercing the enemy and hitting multiple times. Meanwhile, Blade Assault will see you collect energy to attract enemies, inflict damage with twin swords, and then summon countless swords for a powerful finishing blow. Meanwhile, the Shadow Hunter has access to either Gates of Eruption or Fallen Ruin. Gates of Eruption sees you unleash the power of demons to open the Gates of Hell, inflicting damage to all enemies caught in the field. Meanwhile, Fallen Ruin, a personal favourite of mine, will see you leap into the air, radiate a laser beam towards the ground, and then immediately cause the ground beneath to explode. Basically, big, earth-shattering damage. So, there you have it. That's a quick look at the Assassin, and the two currently available advanced classes. Both fantastic picks for those looking to dish out high burst damage while still remaining mobile on the battlefield. Again, massive shout out to Amazon for very kindly sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description box down below if you want to find out more about Lost Ark. And of course, keep it locked on the channel for more Lost Ark content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch more from us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads. And if you want somewhere to hang out, play games, or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arix Gaming Discord.